1964, the nation's first human-occupied deep-sea submersible first splashed down. Scientists and engineers at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution named this plucky sub Alvin, after Alvine, the scientist who led the push to build it. Five years before Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon, Alvin made one giant leap for mankind right here on Earth. Carrying three people at a time in a six-foot diameter sphere to explore the deep sea on a deeply personal level. Alvin was officially commissioned by the U.S. Navy on June 5th and has been operated by Huey ever since. On one of its first missions, Alvin was called on to locate a dangerous needle in a haystack, a hydrogen bomb that had accidentally fallen into the Mediterranean Sea. In the late 1970s, scientists and Alvin made one of the most profound scientific discoveries of the 20th century. Lush communities living around hydrothermal vents, sustained by chemical energy from deep within Earth. Evidence that entire ecosystems could thrive beyond the reach of sunlight. Transforming our understanding of life on Earth and what might exist on other ocean worlds. Alvin again captured the world's attention when it brought Titanic back to the surface in full-color video. In the months after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, scientists in Alvin explored the impacts to deep-sea life in the Gulf of Mexico. Just shy of 60 years, Alvin became stronger and more capable than ever. After a series of upgrades, the sub was certified to 6,500 meters, four miles dive depth. That puts 99% of the seafloor within reach. For generations, Alvin has expanded access to the sea, an understanding of our ocean planet. Thanks to Alvin, hundreds of deep sea species and entire ecosystems are now known to science. Deep submergence technologies have flourished. Thousands of scientists have experienced the ocean's wonder firsthand. With Alvin, scientists will continue to push the boundaries of Earth's final frontier and thank past generations for kickstarting the age of exploration in the deep sea.